behind this door is where I store all my memories, all my photos, video, music, films, etc. They're all on this Drobo. It's a hard drive array that holds four hard drives. As you can see from the dust on the top, it doesn't get touched an awful lot, and that's a good thing because it just works all the time protecting my data. What a Drobo basically does is spread the data across, in this case four drives, but it spreads three drives worth of data across them. So any one of those drives can fail and the data's still there. Then you just replace the drive and it spreads it all out again. But then I got thinking, this Drobo's been working for quite a few years now and sooner or later, the actual hardware itself is going to die. Like the fan might go or it might fuse itself or something. And then what happens then? Well, I thought, you know what? probably need to get another Drobo as a backup for my backup. So I've gone and got a Drobo 5D. Here it is. Now this isn't a cheap device, it's for people that take backup seriously and are prepared to pay for it. This one will hold five hard drives as opposed to the four from my previous model and on the back of it it's got two Thunderbolt ports which means you could daisy chain multiple ones of these together if you could afford it. Now I'm using three one and a half terabyte drives in this pulled from my old Drobo as I upgraded them to a larger size and one new three terabyte drive which is a manufacturer's replacement for one I had in the old Drobo which failed on me and if it hadn't been in the Drobo I would have lost those three terabytes worth of data but luckily it was in the Drobo so it was all backed up. Now it's very nicely packaged but then again it should be because it costs a heck of a lot of money. This cost me about £490 from Amazon in the UK, and that's a significant reduction on what it had cost a few months earlier. It's dropped down in price quite a bit. Let's have a look at the Drobo itself. Well, first off, this magnetic front removes, or plastic front with magnetic catches, that comes off. And inside here, you can see that there's a sticker on it, and we'll just see what that says. And basically, all it says is that I'm supposed to refer to the quick start card that comes in the box. Now, if we have a look in here, we can see that there's five doors, each spring-loaded, so that you don't have to fill all the slots up, and that will keep the dust out. The grey things to the left are the eject buttons. That's uh, the lights at the bottom to show you the capacity and what's going on, and then there's indicator lights down the right-hand side as well to show you the state of each drive. On the back of it, we can see there's a nice large fan at the top there. At the bottom, you've got the two Thunderbolt ports, and then that's the USB 3 port there, that's where the power goes in, and that's a momentary push switch there. So that if you push that, you don't actually switch it off immediately. It sort of shuts down gradually. Let's have a look inside the box that came with it. Now, in the bottom of here, you can see first off, well, in the top, I should say, that's the quick start guide. And then in the bottom, that's where all our wires and things are. Now, this comes with one of those power brick things, quite a big thing. It doesn't have a built-in power supply. Uh, this is your Thunderbolt wire. Now if you know anything about these you know these are hideously expensive and in fact on the back of the box it was all crossed out as though it wasn't going to be included in there. Maybe they had second thoughts and put it in after all. And then this is your USB 3 lead. So you can use either of those two connections to connect it up to your computer. This little bag here has a few stickers in it. There's a Drobo on there and three little stickers here which you can replace with the ones that are on the inside of that magnetic door. Uh, those tell you what the different lights mean, whether it's flashing or different colours, give you a little bit of a description of them. Now let's have a look at this quick start guide and see what we have to do. So the first thing is download the software, then install the hard drives in the Drobo, and then connect it up to the computer, and that's pretty much it. So I've put my MacBook Air on the top here so you can see what's going on, and we'll move things around a little bit, plug it in the wall, now, the first thing is download the software. Now, while that's happening, because it's taking a few minutes, I'm going to stick these hard drives in the thing. It's not switched on yet, of course. Uh, I'll put my new one in the bottom, my new 3 terabyte replacement drive in the bottom there, and just click that in, and then just put the other three drives on top of that. I've left a space at the top for an extra drive uh, for future expansion, and, of course, I can swap any of those drives out. Now, at the bottom here is room for an M SATA drive. That will speed things up with it being a solid state drive. It might read from that first and do it as a little bit of a cache or something. Um, I'm going to get one of those but I haven't got one now to put in there so we'll just have to start without. So I've got these four drives in here and then a gap at the top. So you could just use one drive or two drives but really you're better off using multiple drives so at least there's some sort of backup going on. Now I'm plugging in the Thunderbolt wire there and the power supply wire 
in there as well. So I'll just spin it round now. Uh, one thing I just need to mention, the, um, the magnetic front that goes on there, it does have better ventilation than the previous model that I had. As you can see around the edge here, there's quite big holes on there. And of course it will pull the air from the front over the drives and out the back where that large fan is. Right, so I'll just get this Drobo dashboard up and running. Now, I've already installed this while you weren't looking. Another thing I did while you weren't looking was to update the firmware on the Drobo. When I first loaded this up, it said, do you want to update the firmware? So I said, yes, and it took about a minute, and this is where we're up to now. So this is the point where we can now attach the Drobo up using that uh, Thunderbolt lead and format the drives in it. So we'll switch the Drobo on, uh, it takes a few seconds to turn on one of these things, uh, there's a lot going on I suppose, but it's the kind of thing that probably you best leave it on all the time. I don't know if the MSATA drive would speed up the sort of boot up process, but I doubt it. You're probably best just keeping this going all the time, it never did any harm to my other one. Notice we've got five red LEDs on the right there against all the drives, something is wrong. And what's wrong is, the data on some of those drives, the old drives, comes off an old Drobo and it thinks something's gone wrong. It thinks it's got half a Drobo's worth of information. It can't really cope with it. It doesn't know what to do. So the best thing that we can do is eject those old Drobo drives and just format the nice, clean, empty drive that got sent to me from the manufacturer. Once I started doing that, it formatted fine. Now you just have to pick a few things. Oh, by the way, you can go up to 16 terabytes as one volume, which is probably a good idea. That's more than the other one could do, the older one. It has a bigger uh, single volume capacity, but you can do multiple volumes on one drive if you want. You've got to name it as well. I called it Drobo 5D. Clicked a few OKs. This is just OK, OK, OK. And now that's it. It's now formatting. So it's formatting the three terabyte drive. Fine, as you can see from the green light. So I thought, what would happen if I stick one of the older drives in? Would it just add it on? And sure enough, it did. It didn't cause it any problems. It just added it into the volume. So I thought, right, well, that's working. Let's just shove all the other drives in as well, and it'll uh, sort it out itself. That's a good thing with the Drobo, it's got a lot of intelligence in there so you can make silly mistakes like that and it's just fine, it'll sort of pick up on it. So as you can see with this one it's formatting all the drives now all together as one volume. Now while that's formatting away I've just got to say something please back up your data. Now I know a Drobo is a bit over the top for most people in their home, but at least back up your photos and things onto a separate USB hard drive. They hardly cost anything nowadays. And just imagine if you lost all your photos. Don't think that hard drive that you've got is gonna work forever. Trust me, it will fail at some point. Every hard drive does. I even had an SSD hard drive fail the other week. So don't lose all your family photos. Just go and get yourself a USB drive and copy them across and keep them in a drawer or at work or something. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.